if 4x plus 2y is equal to 16 and 6x minus 2y is equal to 4, find the value of x plus y. Now, understanding the question is part of the exam, right? So what you're going to do is that looking at the question given, it means that we want to find the value of x and then the value of y. And when we are done, we add those values, okay? So let's solve for the value of x and y in the given equations simultaneously. When we are done, then we add them to get the final results. So we are given 4x plus 2y equal to 16. And then we are also given 6x minus 2y equal to 4. Now let's take this as equation 1 and then take this as equation 2. If you consider the equation 1 and 2, you see that the coefficient of x in these two equations are not the same, right? And then the coefficient of y in these two equations are what? 2 and then negative 2. So they are exact opposites, right? Good. Now you are the one going to decide as to whether you want to use the elimination method, the substitution method, or the graphing method to solve this question, right? Now, considering the question given, I am using the elimination method, okay? Now, the coefficient of y in the two equations are exact opposite. This is positive 2, this is negative 2. So, if I use the elimination method, I can solve it quickly, okay? What the elimination method says that if you want to eliminate one variable from the given equations, you make sure that the numbers multiplying that variable are either the same or exact opposite. So we have positive 2, we have negative 2. Now, if they are the same, then you will subtract, right? But if they are not the same, if they are exact opposite, then you will add, okay? So we have positive 2 and then negative 2. They are exact opposite. This is positive there is negative. Therefore, they are not the same. Okay, they are exact opposite. So we will add, right? So let's add equation 1 to equation 2, right? So 4x plus 6s will give us what? 10x. 2y plus minus 2y will give us what? We have 2y plus minus 2y. Okay, so plus and then minus when they meet we take what the negative right so it is like 2y minus 2y and that will give us what zero so here will be zero there won't be y equal to 16 plus 4 will give us what 20 i hope you get me so we have 10x equal to 20 now we want x we don't want 10x so we divide both sides by 10 now, 10 divides 10 will be what? 1. Multiplying x, now x is left equal to 20 divided by 10 is what? 2. So now the value for x in these two equations is what? 2. Now that you've arrived here, you can put x equal to 2 into any of the two equations to find the value of y. Okay, so let's take it as I'm putting x equal to 2 into equation 1, right? It means wherever I see s in the equation 1, I write what? 2. So I'm writing 4 multiplying x, which is what? 2 plus 2y, I mean this, equal to 16. So 4 multiplying 2 gives us what? 8 plus 2y equal to 16. Now you group like terms. So we have 2y equal to 16 here. We are sending the 8 to this side. It's positive, so when you can see it to be what? Negative. So we have negative 8. So we have 2y equal to 16 minus 8 is what? 8. Now we want y. We don't want 2y. So we divide both sides by 2. Right? 2 divides 2 will be 1. Multiplying y will be what? y. So y is left equal to 8 divided by 2 is what? 4, right? So we have 4. Now the values for x and y are what? x is equal to 2 and then y is equal to 4. So if it is in a theory form, 
then you conclude by saying therefore x is equal to 2 and then y is equal to 4. So now that we've seen the value for x and y, now you see the question asked us to find the value of x plus y. So you write your x plus y as in place of x is what? 2 and then you bring your plus y is what? 4. So 2 plus 4 gives us what? 6. Therefore, whenever we are given 4x plus 2y equal to 16 and 6x minus 2y equal to 4, the value for x plus y is what? 6.